Now, polo shirts are a versatile and popular wardrobe staple for men. A well-fitted polo shirt can elevate your style and give you a polished appearance. However, just like any other wardrobe staple, there are certain common mistakes a lot of guys make when wearing polo shirts. And on this video, I want to help you avoid some of them. On today's video, I'm going to discuss with you eight of the worst polo shirt wearing mistakes and how you can avoid making them. Now, if you're new here, welcome Jeff, your style OG. On this channel, we discuss various men's lifestyle topics such as style, grooming, and dating every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern. I invite you to subscribe, tap that notification bell, and join us. And to my returning friends like Marshall Jenkins, salute. First up on the list of the eight worst polo shirt mistakes is one a lot of guys make with any wardrobe item, choosing the wrong size, an ill-fitting polo shirt. Don't choose one that's too tight that will restrict your movements and make you feel uncomfortable. But on the other hand, you don't want a polo shirt that's too big. This can make you come off as sloppy and unkempt. You want to make sure you pick a polo shirt that flatters your body shape and allows you to move around comfortably. How do you go about doing that? Pay attention to a few key areas. First of all, let's talk about the shoulder. You want the shoulder seam on your polo shirt to fall where your shoulder ends and your upper arm begins. Now let's talk about the button placement. You want the bottom button to fall no lower than around armpit height. And when trying on your polo shirt, unbutton it. You want to make sure your collar has structure and doesn't flop around on your chest. When we're talking about sleeve placement, you want the sleeves on your shirt to fall around mid bicep or so. You want the body of your polo shirt cut closely but not snug. You want to be able to pinch about an inch of fabric. And to make sure you have the proper length on that polo, you want it to fall around mid crotch up to belt line area. Anywhere in between that, you're good to go. Next up is a common polo shirt mistake guys have been making for decades. Having a visible t-shirt or undershirt underneath. You gotta pay attention to what you wear underneath your polo. The polo is made to be a single layer or a base layer. A t-shirt can often add unnecessary bulk. Now I get it, a lot of guys like to wear something underneath because they might sweat. I'm a heavy sweater myself. What you need to do instead of a t-shirt wear an undershirt. An undershirt is designed specifically to be worn under your shirts. It's thinner, it's breathable, it's moisture wicking, and it's cut to be tucked in. This allows you to have the protection of a layer underneath, but to do it in a comfortable way. When you have a t-shirt that's visible underneath your polo shirt, it disrupts the clean lines of your aesthetic. This inhibits the intended look of your polo, diminishing its appeal. And another thing that happens when you wear that visible t-shirt, sometimes the color of the t-shirt clashes with your polo shirt, a fashion faux pas. Another area when choosing your polo shirt to make sure you aren't making a mistake, pay close attention to your collar. You want to make sure the collar of your polo lies flat on your chest and doesn't curl over. No floppy collars on that polo. It diminishes the overall look of your polo shirt. I also highly recommend that the collar of your polo is made of the same material as the rest of your shirt. You also want to make sure the stitching on your collar is neat and secure. A key thing to look for in a polo shirt when it comes to the collar, especially if you want a more polished look, Look for a collar that's reinforced with an additional layer. Or with collar stays. This helps maintain the shape and structure of your collar. And a couple of small points, a taller collar gives you a more polished look, a lower collar, a more casual look. Keep in mind a good structured stiff collar does a great job of framing your face. Speaking of a polo shirt that has a collar that maintains its shape and structure, none do it better than the polos I'm wearing from today's video sponsor, Collars & Co. Whether wearing it on its own or layered under a sweater, blazer, or suit, no polo has a more polished appearance than the ones from Collars & Co. Collars & Co. makes a luxury polo, and they have the perfect collar with built-in collar stays. The polos are made of four-way stretch, so the collars are always firm, sit up, no bacon collar, no floppy collar. Like I said, the polos from Collars & Co. look great on their own, but I think they really sing as a layering piece. Especially when you wear them under a suit or a sweater, they do the job of a dress shirt, but they're much more comfortable. And they're also great for on the go or travel with their wrinkle resistant properties. The luxury polos from Collars & Co. were designed with a refined look in mind. They're lightweight, they're breathable, and they're moisture wicking. But without a doubt, the standout feature is that collar. As you can see with the built-in collar stays, it keeps the collars on these polos firm, stiff, and never floppy. Hands down, this is the best polo shirt I've ever owned when it comes to having a polished and elevated look. Now, not only did Collars & Co. sponsor today's video, they've got a special offer for the Stylogy family. 
when you hit that link in the description or go to collarsandcode.com slash style and enter discount code style at checkout, you'll get a limited time special offer. So if you're looking for an elevated luxury polish polo shirt with the best collar in the business, make sure you hit that link in the description or go to collarsandcode.com slash style and grab some polos from Collars and Co. today. Now a common polo shirt dilemma when it comes to how to wear it is deciding whether you can wear the polo shirt tucked or untucked. Now the good thing about polos, they can look great both ways, but there's a few key things you want to keep in mind when making that decision. First of all, let's look at the hem of your polo. If it has a nice straight cut across, it can be worn untucked. If it has a curved hem, it's designed to be tucked in. Next up, you want to pay attention to the length of that polo shirt. Remember, if it's mid crotch or higher, you can wear it untucked. If it's longer than that, tuck that long polo shirt in. And you also want to keep in mind the occasion or event when wearing a tucked or untucked polo shirt. A tucked in polo, a more polished look, an untucked one leans more casual and relaxed. Next up, we have a characteristic of a polo shirt a lot of guys tend to neglect. You don't want to ignore the quality of the fabric of your polo. Here's the thing, the quality of your polo shirt would directly affect its comfort, its durability, and its performance. A low grade quality polo, such as one made of a low grade cotton, can easily lead to discomfort, irritability, and less breathability. Not to mention subpar materials give you much less durability, much more likely to shrink when washed, to fray, to get damaged, holes, pilling, you name it. Not getting bang for your buck. However, on the other hand, polos are made of higher quality fabrics will last longer, feel more comfortable, and are much more likely to maintain their color, shape, and structure. Ignoring the fabric quality of your polo can easily compromise its fundamentals. I'm talking about its style, comfort, and durability. Now next up, we have a polo shirt mistake that I'm not too proud to admit. I used to make a lot back in the day. Wearing a polo shirt with loud prints and logos. Trust me, I was the king of the Ralph Lauren polo shirts with that huge pony on it. You always would catch me in one of those. The problem with a loud print or logo it's not versatile. It doesn't have timeless appeal and it's much more difficult to match it with the rest of the clothes in your outfit. They don't fit a lot of your occasions where you might need a more polished look when it comes to your polo. And they can easily go out of fashion quite quickly, reducing the polo's adaptability. And just like with any other clothing item, a polo with a loud logo or print easily overshadows the rest of your look. It can easily clash. Taking a more subtle approach when choosing your polo a solid color, small logos, allows you to dress that polo up, dress it down, and wear it for decades to come. Those polos with the loud print and logos just aren't a great value. They clash a lot, they're not timeless, and you can't wear them in all occasions. Now I'm not telling you can't get a bold polo from time to time, but stack up on your basic neutral color polos first. Which ties very nicely into our next polo shirt mistake. Wearing a polo with mismatching colors. You see, when the polo shirt doesn't match the rest of your outfit, it easily creates a chaotic, uncoordinated look. You see, choosing the right colors when it comes to your outfits conveys a sense of style, harmony, and attention to detail. Whereas wearing colors that clash easily can distract from your overall appearance. Now, if you wanna wear a bold or brighter color when it comes to your polo, not saying you shouldn't, but when you do, simplify the rest of your outfit. Your pants, your bottoms, they should be more of a neutral color. Whereas when you wear a polo shirt of a more neutral color, it gives you more flexibility. It tends to match much more easily. For a foolproof and classic color combination, choose colors on the color wheel that are complementary or analogous. For example, a navy polo goes very well with a light blue trouser. Remember, when it comes to your outfits, including polo shirt ones, contrast is good, but making sure you avoid colors that class ensures that you have a more stylish, coordinated look. Now a key thing to think about when wearing a polo shirt, knowing exactly when it's appropriate to wear it. When deciding whether to wear a polo shirt, you want to keep in mind several factors. One, comfort, style, and the appropriateness of the occasion. The first thing you need to pay attention to, the occasion or the event. A more formal dressy time, a polo might not be appropriate. On these occasions, you're much safer going with your classic dress shirt. However, in situations such as casual or business casual, a polo shirt will work just fine most of the time. But when doing so, make sure you pay attention to the fit. A shirt that's not too tight or too loose is gonna be more comfortable and give you a more polished appearance. You also wanna pay attention to the fabric, a thinner cotton or performance fabric that's a more sportier polo. And if you know you're gonna wear a polo in a dressier situation, make sure you tuck it in. 
Casual situations, you can get away with having it untucked. And if you want to err on the side to making sure you're choosing the right colors for a situation, go with your neutral, your navies, your grays, your white. But if you're in a more relaxed situation, then you can break out your louder, bolder prints and colors. When deciding whether to wear or not wear a polo shirt, keep in mind occasion, fit, color, and overall style.